Hey, how's it going everybody? Okay, well, Army back with just a quick little video today. It's not gonna be a long video by any means. As you can see, we have the new save editor. It came out last night. I downloaded it. I actually streamed it, showing it off a little bit. But during that stream, I had people asking me where to get it. They were having problems with it. They weren't aware that it was out. So, it's now the following day. I'm sure many more of you all now know that it is out. Many more of you have now tried to download it. And that's where I'm making this video. Because I know some of you, especially last night, were having problems with either downloading it, where to put the files correctly, or whatnot. You were getting confused by my live stream. You were catching the wrong parts at the wrong times, or what it may be. I'm not sure. But I am here now to go over this with you. So, as you can see, I do have the new save editor. I have had it. I've already got my file that I've been messing around with last night. I've already got that, but that's besides the point. So, to get this downloaded, we will go to Google to start off with. All the links will be left down in the description. I'll leave both Twitter link and the actual X3 Infinity link. But to start off, really simple. Just go to Google, type in XB36 Hazard Launcher. You'll see the actual X3 Infinity site. Then you'll see Hazard's Twitter page. You can go there if you want, or you can come here. I recommend coming here, the way you can go on Twitter and give them a follow and whatnot, all that good stuff. So, here we are on Twitter, <clears throat> XB36 Hazard's site. All right here. Yeah. 14 hours ago, special thanks, blah, blah, for chameleon color images, new GTA save editor update 5.0.0.0 out now. Been a long time coming, enjoy. So, very simple, click on this. Gonna bring us to this, to the actual tweet. Right here is the X3 Infinity GTA 5 link. Both this link and the Twitter link will be down in my description, like I said. Click on this, it's gonna take us to this page. Now, before we progress any further, if you are new to Save Editor, you are new to Save Wizard, if you are new to DMO, and you have never done this before, then ignore the next minute to 30 seconds. If not, listen. If you have the old Save Editor, you might not have to do this. I had to do it, and I know it's quite a few people last night had to do it also. You have to down uninstall old save editor, all files associated with it, and make sure you go over to your recycling bin and delete it out of there. You have to make sure you delete it out of here. Me, my computer makes an update on everything I have every night. So I had to not only delete it off of my C drive, I had to also delete it off of my E drive. So, for those of you who do backups constantly, you're going to have to delete it off both spaces. And like I said, make sure you go to your recycling bin and delete it out. Now, since I've already downloaded this last night, got it installed and running, I'm not going to download the installer again, but I will guide you through it. So, once you've gotten everything deleted, or if you're brand new and you've never done this, what you're going to want to do is download the installer. The installer will bring up XB36 hazards. Well, there we go. Hazard launcher. Which is going to, should have brought this on the other screen, but it's okay. It's going to take us into the launcher, which it, once it downloads, will bring you here. Like I said, if you're new, scroll down until you find GTA 5, you're going to just want to click install. If you've had Save Editor before, you know, and it's still showing up to run, even though you deleted everything, you want to come right here and you want to click uninstall. All right, once you've uninstalled it, blah, 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 quit out of it, open it back up, and then click run. Once you've ran it, it will download or it will install the new save editor. 
from there. You want to go back over here. So you've already downloaded the installer. You've opened the installer up. You've hit install on the save editor. You want to come over here and you want to download the main and the content update. You can go ahead and download the components and the vehicle extras if you want to, but these are not required to run save editor. These two are. So once you've got all that right here installed and it's all good, hit run, it will open up. I'm not going to hit run because mine will actually open up, which will not explain what I'm trying to get at. So you will hit run. More than likely, if you have not done anything else to this point, it will pop up an alert saying that you need various files and they are missing. So this is where you come back over here. So now you've, you've downloaded the main and you download your content update. For some of you, your downloads might be up here at the top, like mine is. Some of you, they might be down here at the bottom. Either way, wherever they are, as you can see, I downloaded them last night and then I've re-downloaded them today to show you all. So what you wanna do is once you've got them in here, you're gonna right click and you're gonna to wanna to hit show in folder. And so here they are in your folder. Easiest way to do this, I'm gonna move this back off the screen and I'm gonna minimize this down. The easiest way to do this is to simply take the file from here, your downloads, and just drag it to your desktop. Your main, your content update, and all that. If you want, go ahead and install the, co blah, the components and the vehicle extras. They are not required, but if you're doing it, up, you're doing it you might as well just go ahead and get it all while you can. So, you've got, you've got this downloaded. You've got it running. It says you need files. Here's your files. And even over here, it says all databases go into this folder. But where is this folder? Very simple. Open up your file explorer. Mine, in this case, is over on this page. Okay, and we're going to come all the way back. So, this is your basic computer setup. This PC which is your local drive, C drive, it could be D drive, E drive, it's wherever your computer stores your files at from the get-go. More than likely, it's C drive. But I know some people who change their letter and they go with different drives. So, go to your local disk C, scroll down and find your users right here. Once you're in here, this is mine, KY Army. I will click on my user. Now from here, the top up here, you want to go to view. Because you're not going to see app data right here. You're not going to see that. Come up here to view. Go right over here to hidden items. And I am on Windows 10. Yours might be a little bit different, but the concept is the same. Go to view. Check mark hidden items. Now see if I uncheck mark it, app data is gone. If you check mark it, app data is back. You click on app data, you want to go to local. And then you want to go down and you want to find your XB36 hazard, which is right here at the bottom. And this is where you want to stop. This is the folder right here that you need. This is it. You do not need to open the folder. You can leave it just on this page. Simply take this, your main database, see how it says move to XP36? You just wanna drop it right in there. And then the same with the content update. You just wanna take it and drop it right into the XP36 hazards. Once you've done that, close it out. If you want to, you can restart your computer. It does not matter. But from there, you will simply just open up your save editor again. And then we should be brought with a little animation with the new logo. It's a V with some guns in the background. Awesome little animation, in my opinion. And then you will be brought up with this screen. From there, you can sign in. You can upload your most recent save. And then from there, you can, you can have fun with Save Editor. It's still the same Save Editor. We didn't get no new vehicles. We didn't get no new colors, no new tires, no new rims, nothing like that.
we just got a beautiful new interface to play with so if this was helpful let me know i really hope some of y'all can get your issues worked out now with this um if there's any other questions you have about this i really tried to make it as simple as i thought i could but if you have any other questions i will be on for the next few hours um or i'll be around on mobile just uh shoot me a message and i will try to resolve any questions you have if you're still not finding your folder i will jump in chat with you and try to you know tackle this head on with you figure out what we might have missed what steps you might have not done correctly blah blah what you might be missing so but like i said hopefully this will help y'all get it up and running it is a beautiful interface shout out to xp36 for doing this this is a beautiful so until the next one peace love and respect if y'all haven't please like the video sub to the channel all links are down in the descriptions until next time Y'all have a grease. Y'all have a, yeah, I can't even talk right now. Until next time, y'all have a good one. It's KY Army. Peace.